It's Emma Goodman. And Paige Wallum. There's a lot going on this week, so let's head over to Emily to see what's happening. Hey there, Mustangs. This week in school news, it's all about 8th grade parent night. On Wednesday, February 17th, Porter Central is inviting 8th graders and their families to stop in and get information on what classes they should take. All Porter Central staff will be able to help you get the information you need. For required classes, students will be able to contact the department heads for detailed information on the classes. Students will also be introduced to the many electives offered at Porter Central. That's all for this week, Mustangs. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Emily. <laughs> Guess what I just said. I don't know. Me neither. Let's go over to Gavin to see if anyone knows how to do this correctly. Hey guys, it's Gavin. Today we're going to be playing a little game called write a word on the person's back and they have to guess it. I'm sure you know what the rules are because of what I just said. So let's get going. Your word is bricks. bricks. No. Is that a K? Yes. Gray. Yes. Yeah! The word is grape. Grape. There's no way he didn't do that. Wow, Paige, could you guess those drawings? Nope. Yeah, me neither. So let's head over to Darby to get our head in the game. Hey Mustangs, it's Darby. We're back in the gym this week, so let's head over to Audrey to see what's going on. Thanks, Darby. On Tuesday in the Porter Central Gym, the boys JV and varsity basketball teams will be facing Loy Norick starting at 545. You can find our boys varsity wrestling team in the PCHS gym going up against Kalamazoo Central and Loy Norix at 5 o'clock on Wednesday. On Thursday, our boys hockey team will be playing Madawan at Wings West starting at 4.15. Don't forget about supporting all three of our girls basketball teams on Friday in the PCHS gym as they face Lakeshore starting at 4.15. Saturday will finish off a jam-packed week with a few different games. All three boys basketball teams will play St. Joseph. The hockey team will start their game at 3.15 at Wings West. And finally, catch the Ported Central bowling team facing Portage Northern at Revelin Row. That's all I have for you this week, Mustangs. Now back to you in the studio. Good to have you back, Mustangs. Thanks, Audrey. Now back to you, Emma and Paige. It's so nice to finally have sports to report on this week. Agreed. Now let's go over to Emery to see what's the latest news on the clubs going on at PC. Hey, Mustangs. I'm Emery Morris here with what's going on in activities this week. On Monday, there's a link crew meeting virtually during 6th hour, and Math Helps Club meets virtually at 3 p.m. On Tuesday, Forensics meets virtually at 2.50, and Jazz Band Rehearsal meets in the band room at 3 p.m. On Wednesday, Gamers Club meets in person at 2.45, Montage meets virtually at 2.50, Knitting and Crocheting Club meets in person at 3, and Percussion Ensemble meets in person at 6. On Thursday, the Investment Club meets virtually at 3.30. On Friday, the Optimist Club meets at 9 a.m. virtually. The Jedi Club meets virtually at 11. Kids in Science at 11.30. SAT Practice and Youth in Politics start virtually at 12. NHS meets virtually at 12.30. And FCA and Jazz Band both meet in person at 2. Now back to you guys in the studio. Emma, what are you doing? I'm manifesting. What's that? I don't know. Let's head over to Parker to find out. Thanks, guys. Recently, I've been getting a lot of a specific type of TikTok on my For You page. The common theme of these 15-second videos is manifestation. Whether it's a tarot card reading, initials, or even a message from the universe, they've all been catching my eye. 
So what is manifesting? Well, according to Merriam-Webster, a manifestation is the public display of emotion or feeling, or something theoretical made real. Manifestation's origins are in religion and spirituality because if something spiritual becomes real, it is said to be a manifestation. So what does that mean? Here's the master of manifestation, Junior Lila Horvath, with a hot take on manifesting. Okay, to me, manifesting is attracting something into your life through um, whatever you focus your energy and time on. Well, manifestation has impacted me so many ways um, from like getting over anxiety and depression, um, seeing myself as a happier person because I used to be like pretty depressed and like kind of sad and negative person, but I'm just a lot more happier now. Do you believe in it? A hundred percent. Yes, I do. Because I've seen what it can do for me, seen what it can do for others. And uh, yes, I believe in it a hundred percent. Thanks, Lila. Well, as you can see, manifesting is a huge belief among many people. So try it out. It just might work for you. Back to you in the studio. Very cool, Parker. I think I need to start manifesting that I'm going to marry LaMelo Ball. You definitely should. All right, that's all for this week, Mustangs. I'm Paige Long. And I'm Emma Goodman. Signing, Signing off. off.